Sundance recently introduced the indie episodic category where directors and actors could showcase their pilot episodes for upcoming projects. We caught up with Nash Edgerton and Scott Ryan at the Grey Goose Lounge to see what they were doing with Mr. In Between, a story about a hitman who's just trying to show the world that your job doesn't define you. You've gone through a lot making this film, you read the books, you wrote it. What would you, how would you encourage inspiring filmmakers and actors to kind of follow their Sundance dreams? Well, I think the great thing now is that you can make a film, like you can shoot, you can shoot a film on a, on a phone. The cameras are that good now, you know what I mean? So there's really no excuse to, to not make a film. <laughs> Whereas years ago, you know, with film you had to have a certain amount of money to make it and all that sort of stuff and a big crew, but you don't need any of that now, which means basically anybody can make a film. And I think the important thing is just to get out there and do it. Just make, make something. And so, where, where do you get your inspiration for making films? Inspiration for making films? Yeah, like for the themes, for the lighting, for all these things. You can answer as well. Oh, okay. Um, inspiration. Well, you know, books, real life, uh, anywhere really, you know. Um, I don't know about Nash. Yeah, look, I think, you know, music, films, like any kind of, you know, and as Scott said, real life, just things you observe as a human filter into your brain and create ideas in your head that you want to express. Nash Edgerton also has another exciting project coming up called Gringo. Tell me a little bit about Gringo. What is it? Uh, Gringo is a movie I made with Amazon. It's coming out in theaters March 9. It stars uh, David Oyelowo, Charlize Theron, my brother Joel Edgerton, Amanda Seyfried, Tandy Newton, and Charlotte Copley. Awesome. And then what's one thing you guys are both looking forward to kind of coming up in your careers? Well, immediately we're looking forward to screening the show to an audience because until now we're the only ones who've seen it. And <laughs> so we're really, you know, nervous and excited to see how people take it. What's the message, Scott, that you want people to take away from Mr. Inbetween? Well, that just because you kill people doesn't mean you're a horrible person. I mean, I think that's the that's the that, that, that's the World major peace. theme that I want people to kind of understand. You know, I suppose. Yeah. Interesting. And how does that fit into the synopsis of the film? Um, well, that's basically that's that's really a lot of what it's about. I mean, you see, you know, you see films about people who are you know hitman and that kind of stuff, and they tend to be these kind of psychopathic cold-blooded characters but in reality the truth of it is they're not and that's kind of what a lot of what the show is about wonderful well good luck at your premiere you guys great to have you up here you've been watching park city television we'll have a lot more sundance coverage coming straight to you